Here at Stevenson's, the commercial team have a really wide range of experience and knowledge about business disputes. And certainly during the time that I've been here, I don't think there's anything that we haven't actually dealt with. So it can be anything from um, a shareholder dispute, so that's um, one of the shareholders either wishing to exit the business in a difficult situation, or it can be a contract dispute, um, and that can be anything in relation to a breach of contract. We also have a lot of experience in dealing with all kinds of property disputes that can be for our property developers who may have bought a site that's subject to a covenant, and there's a wide range of actions which we can um, advise and identify as and when appropriate. Businesses who've thought in advance can get well drafted terms and conditions um, that will not necessarily prevent them from having a dispute but make it much easier to resolve if they do and it does put them in the best possible position. If it's well drafted it can have a dispute resolution clause which means again it's far easier for that business to resolve any dispute which may arise and also we do find that businesses with well drafted terms and conditions don't have as many problems of getting paid at the end of their, of their case. So at the initial stage of any dispute, what I'd suggest uh, to a client is they need to help themselves right at the start and hopefully if they can help themselves, this will ultimately end up in minimising costs later down the line. What the client needs to start doing at the, st at the start is um, they need to think about getting documents together, correspondence together, and also it's important to start thinking about preserving evidence right at the start. So then once they've got all that documentation together, uh, they can come and obviously benefit from, um, from taking advice from a solicitor. At the initial stage, we'll complete a review, we'll take instructions, um, and then once we've taken, I've got a pretty good handle and understanding of what the case is about, we we'll then look to put a strategy in place. Um, so then all the way through, that's something for the client to follow, and we're all aiming towards the same goal. So sometimes the clients might come to us and find themselves in a bit of a sticky situation and know that they might be found kind of liable or the other side's got quite a good case. Because there might be other options open to them because they've come to us early, uh, we might be able to come up with other creative solutions. They might know that they're going to have to settle with the other side, but the amount that they need to settle or the way that, that settlement looks and how it's framed can change dependent on how quickly they contact us. So they can come to us and then they can understand what options they've got going forwards. At Stevenson's there's several funding options available. Um, at the initial stage the client might benefit from um, some private paying advice just so that everyone understands where they are at the outset. Beyond that we'd always suggest that a client looks at their insurances um, because it may be that on one of the policies uh, they've got legal expenses insurance. What that means is their insurer could ultimately pick up the tab for the case uh, but also we are on the panel of a number of insurers. Um, so it may be that we are on that same panel and the, the, their insurer can actually fund the case with Stevenson's. There's also conditional fee agreements um, and that's something that many people will probably have heard referred to as a no-win uh, There's also third party funding um, available and that's something that's a growing market and that's expanding at the moment. It's really reviewed on a case by case basis, it ordinarily applies to higher value, more complex cases. That can be assessed and reviewed with the clients and it could be an option for them going forward. If a client knows that there's something on the horizon that's going to probably cause them difficulties for themselves or for the business, um, I really would encourage them to pick up the phone or email. We can be contacted in several different ways. Present us with what their issues are. We can report back to them quite quickly, giving them advice and clear steps that they can action to hopefully either get themselves out of that situation or agree a commercially viable option for them. The legal process can be daunting, so the client understands that this is where they stand, this is what the dispute's about, this is what they can hope to achieve. Um, if they understand that we're always trying to aim for a certain goal, um, hopefully that can lead them to taking a bit more comfort and have faith and confidence in uh, us as solicitors um, and that we're always aiming towards getting them the end result that they want. Mm -hmm.